Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. And uh, well, it's morning time for me. I don't know about you, but for me, it's morning time, and uh, we're getting the day started right here. So right now, guys, uh, I'm going to show you uh, the progress that's been made on mine and Lacey's property, which is Baldwin Farms in progress. And I wanted you guys to see like the changes that have happened to it uh, about two years ago uh, we bought about 85 acres over here and uh, it's all standing timber uh, where, where we live at right beside my mom and dad and uh, dad has recently started logging it and uh, I'm gonna take you guys and show you exactly what's been happening uh, I I've, I've not shown you guys any of my property before I don't think so this is gonna become a routine video of taking you guys out there and just showing you how the property is changing uh, whenever stuff happens, whenever as it's getting logged and cleared. And also this will be kind of cool for me to look back on once I have kids and I can show them what the home place used to look like before anything was ever done to it. So that'll be a little awesome little uh, documentary kind of what the Baldwin estate is gonna look like on down the road. This may become a new routine video, taking you guys out and showing you guys and bringing you along on the journey and uh, we're gonna have a good time. But first and foremost, I couldn't hear mom and dad since I've got to cipher some diesel out of one of dad's trucks because mine, I think my fuel gauge is off. So I need to get that fixed or something. So usually if it gets below half a tank, it's gonna run out of diesel or something. I'm not quite figured out what's going on with that yet, but we're gonna dig into that, go cipher some diesel, and uh, yeah, let's go. Why they hit sure enough cold this morning, and get me started this morning. I got my old trusty jug of chocolate milk right here. Nothing better on a cold morning than some chocolate milk, I tell you what. What's over Joe? What's old Harley doing this morning? Harley, bud, how you liking this cold? Say, about like I do, looks like. Son of them mirrors, I bet you could hear two, two miles away, couldn't you? Them mirrors are like radars, look at her. He's picking up a signal, oh. He's picking the signal up, look out. <laughs> I reckon dad and the boys are getting their stuff together. I'm gonna ride over there with them to get me some diesel. There's the cavalry. Are you ready to roll? Yeah. You don't roll what we're doing, but this will come out. Oh, okay. Ether it. Need to ether it. Nothing tests the man's patience no more. Starting days on a cold morning. But luckily, that emblem right there says Ford on it. So that usually starts pretty much every time. You Chevy drivers can't say that though, can you? I've got Isaac in here with me, and we're going to head over here to the sawmill. AKA the sawmill. And uh, you guys are in for a treat right now because I tell you what, I'm not. You're at that good turbo whistle. But uh, I've not for fuel in probably, I'm gonna say probably two and a half, three years. Has it's been how long since I've softened fuel out of something? Uh, I mean, it's. I'm usually pretty good at it. I've never actually got a mouthful of fuel in my mouth from ciphering, but it's very possible. Uh, so you guys, either you're gonna learn how to do it the right way, or it's gonna be the funniest thing you've ever seen because I'm gonna be spitting diesel out of my mouth. One of the two. So you wanna stay tuned for that. But as I was telling you guys right now, all of this over here, you guys are seeing right over here, this is all mine and Lexi's property. All this stuff with the, with the trees that's laying down here, that's been pushed over, that's all mine and hers. And it goes all the way down this way, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. And then you guys know where my house is at. You guys have seen that several times. It goes all the way back up in there. So one day, maybe if I've got time, I'll show you guys the whole entire layout. And I'm really, really wanting to buy a drone. And if I had a drone, I could take you guys up in the air and give you guys like a little aerial view of the whole property. And you guys can really understand better of how much there is. All right, if you want ciphering fuel, first of all, you gotta have a hose. This hose was literally stuck in a, uh, a toolbox <laughs> that I ain't been touched in 40 years. So uh, that's probably the worst part about it, honestly, is putting you out in this nasty hose. But we'll make sure you got a downward flow right here. So, one half's gonna go inside the 
the tank, wherever you get fuel from. And this tank is actually full, as you guys can see right here. I'll move my bucket on down the hill here. What you want to do is you want to just kind of, like, kind of blow a little bit of air into that hose, and then give it two or three sucks just to get the flow started through it. I ain't done this in years. I'm kind of nervous to be honest with you. See, there it is. Man, I got a little bit. <laughs> 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 a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I think one. I'll, I'll take the chocolate milk over the diesel any day, any day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. If you subscribe to the channel, subscribe for me, please. I think what happened was. I think what happened was I give it maybe one too many sucks on the hose. That's what finally done me in, I do believe. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh. But, oh gosh, might have to go, might have to go wash your bucket here. <laughs> yeah. Probably key thing, don't let it overfill. Overfill. Anyway, guys, that is how you cipher fuel out of a truck. There, for I'll tell you where I went wrong. I've never ciphered out of a tank that's been so full in my life. I mean, as you guys saw, I gave it one little blow and it jumped over the daggum tank. <laughs> Well, Big Red is started now. Uh, didn't even have to ether it or anything. It just needed some fuel. Like I was saying, that uh, my fuel gauge has to be off because it can be showing right out half a tank and it'll be almost empty apparently. So I've got to get that fixed. Maybe it's the floater or whatever it's in there. It needs to be fixed. I'm not really sure. So right now we're gonna go back here and take a look around and maybe even watch Dad cutting down a few trees. I've not watched him cut down trees in a good minute. All right, guys, so right here is what you guys are looking at is pretty much where mine and Lexi's property starts at. I don't know if you can see this tree right here, with this uh, blue paint on it right here. That's where mine and her line starts. It goes from here this way. So all this on this side is all mine and hers. Uh, I think, I think dad, dad's over here cutting down some trees. I heard him drop one just a minute ago. So we'll follow this skid road through here. Guys, in the winter time, skid roads, I mean, good grief. Look at those ruts right there. Look at those ruts. It's just crazy. Terrible time to log in the winter time. It gets wet, it gets nasty. And it's just, okay. Do you guys hear that over there? A tree literally just fell over there beside me. What the heck? That was crazy. Didn't even need no ether. Post it. Chainsaw ramp. Uh, got out of whack, doesn't it? We've got her left. We'll do our deal a little later. Sight. On. Oh, Bring your towel over here and I'll fix it. I don't think it's no more. You'd be sweet, sir. Mm-hmm. You're done with this, ain't you? Yeah. I guess we're gonna take it up here to the truck. They can walk out to the truck up quick and stay down.
Yeah, boys. Got done skidding some logs, man. Hadn't done that in a long time. Uh, that, that that was fun. I really I really enjoyed that. But I'm gonna show you guys as I walk the rest of my property right here. Look at these deer tracks right here. I mean, you are looking at deer country. I tell you what. Next year, Lord willing, once we have some more time, I'm gonna start doing some more hunting and uh, maybe do some hunting videos. So stay tuned for that too. So right now we're gonna walk back here back around the back of the property uh over here and i think dad said he's got a few roads built back here just give you guys a little bit of a look see if you look right through here that is mom and dad's house right there from where i'm at standing right now that's the driveway you guys can see it right through there and there's their yard so my house would be somewhere right in this area you can't see it obviously yet because that whole ridge over there is still standing in timber but uh, we're gonna walk the back end of this, back around, go down under the holler and swing back around. I'll show you guys how it all loops together. Guys, earlier I said that I heard something fall over there earlier, right here, prime example. You see this little tree right here, leaned up again, the top's hung, another top up there. There it is, see, that's what you call a widow maker right there. 
Wouldn't take nothing for it to break loose and come and crack me right in the head. Way to make her. Y'all watch out for them in the woods. We're getting closer down here to the holler where the creek's at. Uh, and it's pretty much just these little trails like this right here all the way down from where I was at up there earlier. I'm probably about 400 yards from where I was at up there earlier. But Dad, he, he can work wonders with the dozer. I mean, he, he's got a little path scratched out down through here. I mean, just pretty much flat all the way down through here. Me and Lexi want to get us a side-by-side -side eventually. Probably after we get it, most of it paid off, we're going to buy us a side-by-side. -side. And we'll already have these trails already made to ride our side-by-side home. -side okay, so we went to the holler down here. That path brought me right down the mountain, right down to here. Here's the holler. So you guys can see those pink little, those pink little pieces of plastic on that tree right there, and that tree over there, that's the line. So back this way from those is my and Lexi's property, all of that. And then on the other side is the other landowner beside of us. So here is one of the main flats. Uh, this has been a loading place already that Dad and them have used. They logged down here when they first moved over here. So that's why this is also flat. But I mean, this lays pretty good all the way down to where I just came from on that side. Uh, it's not all perfect land, but it lays pretty good for the most part. It's gonna make some good fields and stuff, and I'm pretty excited to get it all cleared off. But I'm gonna shoot up this road over here, and it should take me back around to the house. I'm having to put her in four-wheel drive up this hill. We're locked in four low, boys. So guys, we've got one more hill right here, I think, unless I'm just completely lost. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is the last hill, and we should be back up to where the house is at. Well, y'all, as the old hymn goes, praise the Lord, I saw the light. Lord, have mercy. Praise the Lord. Whew. My goodness, what a trip. You know, 85 acres don't really seem like all that much until you try to walk all the way around it. <laughs> 